There's this one time yeah. I went to go print this artwork on my, my previous project, right? Yeah. So I did it in town. So like the guy there was like, okay, this is you. I'm like, yes. He's like, you, are you going to sell this? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And it's like, wait. So you're telling me people are buying a portrait of you? I'm like, yes, I'm telling yeah. the stories. Like everywhere, bro. It's not popular. Yeah. So like, I remember growing up, right? I was always into like art. And my parents been like documenting me since I'm like a baby. Like I have, I feel like in the family, I have the most photographs since yeah. I was like really young. So yeah, I just love being in front of the camera since I was a baby. And when I got to like, um, I think it's about like two years ago, that's when I started. You know Mimi? Yeah. Yeah, she, she kind of casted me for this shoot. Yeah, she got me to this shoot for Intricate Lifestyle and that's when it all started. But yeah, that's, that's basically how I started. Yeah, and, and so what happened, like when you, after the shoot, you were like, this is something I actually need to do or what happened there? That's interesting. Um, after that, like when I got the ambassador deal contract, right? Yeah. I was with my mom. She took me to this uh, photo shoot. She was just like, yo, this is it. Like, this is you. <laughs> this is it. And like in retrospect, it was amazing because I've yeah. been taking pictures since I was a baby. So yeah, it all just made sense that, yo, this is your path. Like whatever you do, just be happy. Do this. And yeah. yeah it was Ooh, that's really like interesting. How it started, yeah. I love that um, you had that like parental support in your corner from, yeah, I've, from I've day one. I've always had it. I've always had it. But like my father, though, he wanted me to be an engineer. Yeah. But like when I was really young, and then there was a time um, I started submitting my art to these competitions, and he was like, "You know what? It's fine. You can, you can, you, you can, can be on the art side. Like, <laughs> this is you. I can't change you." Like he saw yeah. the vision. <laughs> yeah, he saw the vision. I don't know mm. if he saw it or my mom convinced him, but like, yeah, my mother has been there, bro. Like she, and she was a model too. Like back in the she was, she was an art. She was a rapper. Um, she was a rapper at first. Yeah. And then she took modeling, and yeah, she she's always been about that life. So I think for her it made sense. You been working for essentially the past uh, two years. I'm, I'm assuming you're going into the third one now? Third, yeah. As, as a model? Yeah, this is it. Uh, and, and maybe this is like a vague question, but I, I think if anyone can answer it, it's you. Um, and what I wonder is like, when you stand in front of a camera as a model, mm -hmm. what, what do you hope to achieve? To hope to achieve? Yeah. Um, yeah that's, that's a good question. I don't know, bro. I feel like it's natural. You have to be like natural in front of the camera. And what I hope to achieve when I'm in front of the camera is that yeah. I just want to tell my story, right? Um, but whether it's like body language or the, from the captions, like you, like you mentioned earlier. Yeah. And yeah, I just hope to tell the story. That's basically what I hope to achieve in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and so that's interesting. That's another, that's a, another like really interesting thing about you is that mm -hmm. like um, storytelling and you consider yourself a storyteller and an artist, yeah. right? Which yeah. is, which are terms that people would not necessarily consider uh, align naturally with like a model. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because people, people think it's all about glam. Like, it's yeah. just you in front of the camera, it's all about <laughs> all of that. Now, it's, I feel like for some, yeah, for, for the most, most people, yeah, it's like that. But like, for me, um, I feel like I have a narrative I'm trying to push. And yeah. I just find comfort in like telling stories. Like, it fulfills me, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just glad that I have the modeling career to like, help me tell these to stories. To push that narrative. Yeah, to push the narrative. And is that narrative something that you can actually like put into words? Like what it is, that story that you're trying to tell? Um, put into words. Nah, I feel like that's why I mix it with modeling because if it's just words, people yeah. don't really connect with that. Yeah. So I try and mix that with modeling and all of the other stuff so that people can get like a... Because you know how art is very subjective? Yeah. I may, yeah, I may write something, right? And people might not like connect with that with no image so yeah. like if there's an image people can like actually connect and see okay this is how it feels and yeah that's that's just how it goes so it's okay yeah. so it's almost like 
the modeling, the writing, or whatever other medium you use to communicate it's the it. Yeah. All of these just come together to tell like, exactly. a singular message. Exactly. Ooh, that's interesting. Man. Yeah. Um, and so you're particularly interesting for a number of ways, right? Um, yeah. For a number of reasons, because uh, you're Muslim. <laughs> I'm Muslim, yeah. yeah. And, um, and we were talking about this uh, just before we started shooting, and I was asking you, and I'm like, um, my assumption is that uh, that's one of uh, the more conservative uh, religions, yeah, right? It is. So how does uh, your community, uh, ac- do they accept that your model or yeah. like how what's what's the dynamic there <laughs> right, that's a good question um did i accept i feel like yeah i think they do but like i don't really pay attention to that because there's a verse in the quran yeah my favorite one um it speaks about how us right as people we're like the trustees of god yeah so like god has trusted us with like different things whether it be money um, influence, talent, whatsoever. Yeah. So I feel like I've been trusted like with what I'm good at. So I'm just going to put that into the world and just do that for the better, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like it's just like between me and God, not the community. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, how, yeah. that's how I look at it. Because I, I go to the mosque, I pray. When it's time for fasting, I fast. Yeah. I, I'm like doing everything that's obligated as a, as a Muslim. So I'm just doing my part, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and so I actually hadn't like written it, written this down, but that's also another thing that always, that struck me when I was going through like your Instagram, mm-hmm. that uh, you strike me as someone who is uh, deeply religious. Is that a fair description? Yeah. I've been deeply like religious since I was like 15. Because I remember when I was younger, right? Yeah. My dad kind of used to like force us to go to the mosque. And yeah. Like, yo, why go to the mosque? I'd rather like, do anything else. Yeah, can we just do it at home, please? <laughs> so like, yeah, he, yeah, he did his part. Like he took us to the mosque. And when I got to 15, um, that was like a couple of years after he passed. Yeah. Yeah, just like seeing life. I was like, yo, I really need to be, like, religious. That's when I started, like, carrying the Quran with me everywhere and making sure that I show up at the mosque and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm deeply religious now. Do you think, um, and I know this is, like, a vague question, right, but yeah. are they, like, how does that, like, help you, like, in your career, in your day-to-day? Like, how does that push you further? Uh, it gives me faith. You know, in Islam, we call it iman. Yeah. Right. It's yeah, it's just faith. Cause like I don't think you can do anything without God. No, not I don't think. I don't like I know that you can't do anything without yeah. God. So I put God first before everything. Like I actually prayed before this. Ooh. Like I had a little silent prayer. Yeah. And yeah, before everything it's prayer. Yeah, you, you gotta put God first. I hear that. Yeah. I like that, man. I I really do. And so one of the things um, that interests me as well about the path that you've, um, you've taken is that, uh, and, and maybe I'll, I'll put a bit of context before I actually ask you the question. Um, usually, um, the trend nowadays when we talk about careers, uh, when we talk about education, we talk about uh, women being on the back foot. Uh, we talk about there being need to do work to ensure that women and men get equal opportunities because mm-hmm. women are perceived as being behind, right? Yeah. Uh, the career path you took flips yeah. that equation on its head. Yeah. You're like uh, a male in a female-dominated industry, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so, my question then becomes, is that dynamic in, because I know that globally, right, yeah. uh, male models are not like anywhere nearly as recognizable or appreciated, appreciated be it like yeah. financially or just socially, mm-hmm. <laughs> as their female counterparts, right? Uh, is that dynamic replicated in, in Zim? Um, I feel like it's everywhere, bro, because like, like you mentioned, it's yeah. a female dominated um, industry. But now it's all about you. Like, what is it you're trying to achieve from this? Because, like, it's a, 
it's full of glam to be honest yeah. the modeling industry but for me what works for me is i'm just storytelling like i'm not in competition with anybody it's, it's just me and as long as i push my narrative whether it's female dominated or whatsoever as long as it's out there i've done my part okay yeah, yeah. i like that perspective where it sounds like um it's cliched, but it sounds like, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. I'm doing the things within my control, like at a high level. Exactly. And then leaving the rest. You just leave it to God, bro. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. that's how it is. Just leave it to God. Okay, that's yeah. interesting, man. <laughs> because that's really something that could um, wear on you, like, psychologically, where you're putting in the work. Yeah. But you're also having to fight these, uh, let's just call them pre-established structures. Or standards that people uh, have, right? Like, right. especially people, in Zim, yeah. Yeah, yeah. More like, so in Zim, right? <laughs> yeah, people, people don't understand. To be honest, like, you know, there's this one time yeah. I went to go print this artwork on my my previous project, right? Yeah. So I did it in town. So like, the guy there was like, "Okay, this is you." I'm like, "Yes." He's like, "You, you're gonna sell this." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah." And it's like, "Wait." So you're telling me people are buying a portrait? Of you. I'm like, "Yes." I'm telling yeah. the story. So I had to like explain like to them because I feel like, yeah, because the people haven't like caught up to that yet, right? But I feel like we're getting there. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully soon people are gonna understand and like, like pay up. close. Yeah, because you have to pay close attention to detail, and like art is very subjective, like I mentioned. And maybe the art they're into is not... It's not it's what not you're there. making, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it takes a lot of understanding, to be honest. And so, I like something you said there, where you said um, people are waking up. Yeah. Um, what do you think is changing? Because that energy, I think I also feel it in regards to like yeah. art, in regards to culture, and just yeah. a lot of things are becoming like more African, uh, more personal, more personal, more authentic. Okay. What do you think is, is shifting? Wait, you say more African. Yeah. Um, has it, hasn't it been like that, though, like for the past? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. Um, maybe maybe let, me, let me give you some context. Um, in the broader picture, right, like we... I think maybe, yeah, Corrupt could be a good brand, right? Mm -hmm. Like a good example. Um, people support that now, but I don't... Ten years ago, do you... Were people like rocking with like locally made stuff? Because when I say yeah. African, I don't want people to think uh, African in the sense of maybe like African print. No, oh, African okay. as in made by us and oh, then consumed okay. by us. I get you. Yeah. I get you. <laughs> well, you say past 10 years. Like I was in, I was in Zoom by that time. But yeah. like judging by like what I'm seeing right now, yeah. I feel like, yeah, we're on the right path, to be honest. Um... And I like, I like how everything's changing. Like, you can walk in, in town yeah. with a corrupt cap and someone can come at you and be like, yo, this shit is fire. I, I know saw this, this. I'm trying to get this. And every Thank time you. in my DMs, I have people shouting, shouting me out saying, yo, I need a corrupt cap, like ASAP. Like, yeah. people are really trying to rock with the brands we have. Yeah, like, yeah. There's, a, there's a genuine, like, attachment. A, yeah, and the love, bro, is crazy. Yeah, shout out to Rowan. Yeah, he's yeah. yo, he's been doing like some amazing work. Yeah. We've been trying to get that done for a minute now. I, for real? Yeah, I think we'll do it this year. I, I hope so. I should do it this year, bro. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll actually tell him tonight that, yo, you got to You got to You got to get, get on. Yeah, you got to get this. You got to get this. <laughs> we talked about, you know, like the dynamics of, of the industry, which you say are almost like mimicked globally, right? Um, yeah. In terms of um, the industry itself, um, do we have a modeling industry in Zim? And so I need to give a bit of context because yeah. um, the way I think of when I, what I think of when I say industry, I'm thinking agencies, I'm thinking the models. Mm -hmm. um, do we have those structures that make your life easier as a model or you have to do everything you have to find the brands you work with by yourself yeah. you have to eat you know do you have an industry um i think for some people yeah but like for me i just haven't found the right you know because it, it comes with a lot because i've noticed like in yeah. zoom right most of these agencies they um like you don't have a lot of freedom 
to be honest. I remember yeah. there's this girl we shot with for Intricate Lifestyle. She could not shoot with us the second time because the agency was not, you know, they were not in good books, so she couldn't come through. So I, I, I don't want to have that problem. Yeah. I just want to have freedom, you know. I just want to work with the people I want to work with. I want to work on the projects I want to work with without talking to anyone. Don't have to get, know? like, green lit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't need that, bro. I, don't, I really don't need that. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually good by myself. So, like, I haven't paid close attention to that industry because I'm not seeing how it can actually, how like, can help, help me. You. Yeah, me. Yeah. But, like, for some people, it helps. It helps. I like, you. I know people that um, are actually doing so well, like, under an agent. But, yeah, for storytelling, I don't think it's... Yeah. For my storytelling, <laughs> yeah. It, and, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong, right? But my assumption is... Uh, once we add like more people like management agencies into the mix they might not really like understand the entirety of you so they might understand yeah. you like as a model but they might not understand that you're saying you want to push like a certain narrative you want to exactly. tell a certain story exactly because they can call you up and be like you have a shoot right and you're not planning a shoot that day you're probably yeah. working on something and you can't say no yeah so you have to go and you know how you you have to be also like selective with the people you work with and yeah yeah they don't really pay attention to that they just want their money for them it's a check isn't it yeah everything's them is about money bro as long <laughs> as they have their money bro they can call you tough and be like yo pull up for this photo shoot and yeah you yeah have and, to. and they cut a certain percentage and all that no, i'm not i'm not about that yeah that's interesting <laughs> yeah. man that's interesting for for a number of reasons yeah. <laughs> that's how it is bro that's soon bro it's crazy. And I kind of get it um, in that for a lot of creatives, and mm -hmm. maybe not just creatives, but for a lot of like Zimbabweans, right? Yeah. We're in this um, survival mode, oh, for yes. lack of a better term, right? Oh, so yes. I'm not going to like turn down that call at an inconvenient time because mm -hmm. I need this relationship because maybe it's, it supplements my income. You need that, like, yeah. Yeah. It, it's all about, like, survival of the fittest, to be honest. But at least, yo, my advice is, like, get a side job. Yeah. Like, if, if you're trying to push the art side, like, we're not at a point where this can, like, take you far. Because I'm not planning to be a model for, to be, I'm not planning to be, like, a model for the rest of my life, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, just, just get a side job. Get yeah, a side job. I Because this that. is not going to... It might not, like, pay It might not bills. work. It, it might work eventually because like i believe that everything you put your heart and soul into you know the universe will give you back yeah. but like for now get a side like job. The, yeah the structures yeah. just are not there yeah, yeah. yet yet yeah. yet be yeah, an yeah. important qualifier yeah it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair man yeah. and and i think so i think in in some regards right like we've we've touched on on this to some degree but one of the things you talked about there is um reading energies choosing who you want to work with carefully what is that process like for you like what if if a brand approaches you right like what are you looking for what am i looking for yeah um, what are green flags green, <laughs> green flags uh yeah. what are green or maybe flags? what are red flags i don't know which one is easier <laughs> Okay, red, let me start with red. <laughs> so, like, a red yeah. flag for me is, um, I just basically look at their work. Like, it's, it's, it's never anything personal. It's just that maybe what they do isn't aligned with what you're aligned with. Yeah. So, like, it, it doesn't work, you know. But then, for example, Intricate Lifestyle. Yeah. That made more sense to me because, no, at the time, I, w I can't say it made more sense because I was just starting, yeah. right? Um, with them, it was like storytelling and also like pushing a certain narrative. So it just made more sense after that. And I was like, okay, yo, this is how I'm gonna deal with people. Yeah. And Mimi, yeah, she taught me a lot. She, just by watching her and yeah, that's, that's just how you work with brands. It just has to like align yeah yeah okay i think yeah fair enough i hear you man so maybe correct me if i'm wrong right um by alignment um you mean 
like you said you're like a, a really religious person mm -hmm. um so maybe you wouldn't work with a brand that promotes something that's on the opposite extreme end yeah. of like your religious beliefs something of that sort yeah on the religion on the re religious part yes and also like for example i'm not gonna do some i'm not gonna like model for a brand that's you know completely different from what i put out okay if you get what i mean yeah. for example push it like it's sport i work out so we have a connection there yeah. and then we just work from there uh corrupt storytelling street style all of that we connect yeah and then we work from there so yeah this is basically how it goes it happens naturally and so one of the things that's also interesting about like <clears throat> modeling is uh, perception, man. I think this is like one of the most like perception heavy episodes when we talk up. about themes, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, the the perception of models is that uh, things come easily to you. I think even yeah. when we before we started uh, shooting, I was I was saying to you, you just need to have the looks. No, I was saying people think you just need to have the, the looks, looks, and you actually explain that it's, it's more than that, it's, right? It's not about looks, like. <laughs> <laughs> looks, yeah, they play a part maybe for yeah. like the glam models and the beauty models, but yeah. no, looks, it's, it's not. I feel like it's the vibe. The vibe the person brings? The vibe the person brings. And like, are you natural in front of the camera? Because you can have someone that's pretty, like a hundred, but then put but them in the, front of the camera. Yeah, they, the they, photos they, just don't. The photos, they yeah. Don't it's, it's the vibe. It has to be like natural. It has to be in you. Ooh. And like, yeah, I've been taking pictures since I was a baby, bro. Yeah. So like, yeah. I feel like it has to be natural. You have to be born for it, I guess. I suppose, like, in, in many ways, yeah. we, we actually do have to be born for these things. It's just that sometimes life happens and we're not in the places where we're supposed to be. Yeah, you're actually right. Um, you have to be born. But sometimes, yeah. you know, you can pick up little things you're inclined to when you're young. Yeah. Um, I remember I was reading Robert Greene. Yeah. He spoke about how, like, when you're trying to find your calling, right? Try and look back to, like, what really, what were your inclinations, yeah. like, growing up? Yeah. So, for me, it was just art, whether painting, um, theater shows and all of that, and yeah. the whole picture thing, it all made sense to me. That spoke that, to you? That's why it spoke to me, and that's why... When you do it now, like, like when you're grown, it's easier. Like you don't have to practice something again. Like yeah. if it's something familiar from like back then, it gets a lot easier. Yeah. 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 And I think it's the thing we were talking about, uh, where we were talking about um, you're in this place where there's a lot of work to do, but yeah. because you enjoy it so much, um, it doesn't feel as terrible terrible as yeah. something else would <laughs> yeah it, it's different bro because like um you know i could i could have been working in an office in nine yeah. to five and felt terrible yeah but at least like when you when you're doing something you love right it, it is painful it yeah. is like chasing that dream it's, it's painful because you, you don't know where that, you're going yeah. yeah you don't know where you're going and you're just trying to get to the top of the mountain but like getting there you're like oh shit how am i gonna get there it dawns on you during at some, i think at some point during that journey it, yeah it hit at least for me it hit me and it was like yo like this is a lot more work than i anticipated at the start yeah that, that's how it is <laughs> like the more you get into it the more you know and learn that's when you sit down and be like, yo, like, what, what the hell is there's going on? There's a lot on? of like, work. There's a lot of work. <laughs> and like, just looking at the top of the mountain, you're like, yo, when am I going to get there? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of like a leap of faith. Yeah. Like, you, you in just, many ways. You just, you just jump. But like, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, but like you actually figure it out. And the more you figure things out, you get fulfilled. Because for me, just doing A, B, C, D, sometimes I don't know where I'm going. Like, yeah. Uh, for example, what we spoke about on the phone um, about the book. Yeah. In the, yeah, be in the beginning, yeah. I asked myself, like, who are you to write a book, to be honest? You know, I asked myself, <laughs> bro, like, I, I never like writing essays, bro. Like, back in school, I was like, yeah. yo. And then, but this book, I'm like, yo, this is it. Like, I'm actually going because I'm learning and I'm yeah. figuring it out. So that's how it is. It's a process. 
but you get used to the work and you get fulfilled from it. We were talking about perception, right? And so the perception with modeling is that there's not a lot of work involved. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe that's true. I don't believe there's any career where there's not a lot of work involved. <laughs> bro, there's a lot of work everywhere, bro. It's, it's too much. So for you, what are the more... Um, what does the work before just like the final shot what does the work look like for you as a model before the final shot that i get to see on your instagram on, on or set on, or like before that i think let's let's go into both but before first and then right. we transition into what you then do on set um before that it's different for like a brand right yeah um it's getting the opportunity of course being in the right place at the right time yeah. because you can go to someone right at the wrong time and not get the gig yeah so it's all about being in the right place at the right time so i feel like it's all god to be honest god just leads you to this place that's what i'm saying you have to pray yeah you have to pray so it's that and it's the working out it's the you have to take care of your skin yeah because people are not trying to put makeup in you for like two hours just to cover spots and everything you have to take care of your skin. Um, I feel like, yeah, that's that's basically That's like it. the major. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the major. Effort, right? Like working out, mm -hmm. taking care of your body. Uh, but then if it's for a project now, yeah, um, that, that's a lot of work. You have to figure out a set. Um, yeah. You have to figure out what story you're trying to put out. Because if it's for a brand, it's for someone else's work. He that's has, someone else who has to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, he like, figures that out. You <laughs> just have to. Exactly. Yeah. You just have to work out and just be there and just be on the camera for like one or two hours and you're done. But if it's your project, bro, it's crazy. You have to figure out exactly who you're going to work with, like the right photographer. Yeah. And the two main photographers I, I love, um, Lennox and Naka. Those are my go-to yeah. people. Lennox is, is, is brilliant. Bro. Naka is brilliant. One of the things that has been, I think, that you've been consistent at is um speaking to media getting your name out there why is that something that's important to you uh and i ask this because for most people it's inverted they want the media to chase them they want uh some don't even do interviews right they're like no nah, yeah. i don't i don't talk to the media i don't do. why is that like an important part of like your strategy if we can call it that um for me it's basically because i'm just trying to push the narrative Right, I'm trying to tell a story. Yeah. And I feel like people just need to like pay close attention to it because Lord knows what I'm gonna be doing for people. And yeah, I mean like for the modeling industry. Yeah. Because I feel like there's a lot I can do and change, especially for the storytelling part of the modeling industry. Yeah. So I feel like for media it's a way for me to like speak to people. Because I feel like just speaking to them through the art isn't enough, you know. Yeah it's, yeah, it's it's never enough. So yeah, just reaching out and talking to people is is yeah. incredibly important. Yeah, I think so too, man. Uh, I think what you're saying there, right? Like, um, you need uh, a combination of of both at times, mm -hmm. where yeah. you need to go to the people mm -hmm. and then bring them to the work. Yeah, and 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 so they have like a better understanding, understanding of especially who you are. with with art because art can get very, uh, you said subjective before it can get very abstract as well, right? Yeah, Where someone might take an interest, but they're like, "Yo, what the hell am I looking at?" <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> and and it becomes your part, I guess, to like break it down. To break it down, and then sometimes it's like, um, someone can just look at your work on Instagram and it may not make sense yeah. but like if they actually look you up and see all your articles and everything if they read they can actually have like a better understanding, understanding. of like everything you're trying to put out maybe so even like get the narrative you're trying to push yeah 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 and so i think we've touched on this a bit but more concretely like what would you say have been uh the challenges you faced as a model over the past two years I think um, people just not paying attention. Like, not a lot of people support it, to be honest. Yeah. But I'm, I'm actually used to it. So I'm 
just seeking that external validation it's out of me now it's, oh you you've reached a point i've where... reached a point where i'm like okay i'm just doing my work whatever happens happens i'm just leaving it in the hands of god yeah so yeah i think that was the biggest that's the big challenge. challenge yeah that was the biggest challenge and then for my personal projects i think preparation working out for that but it's draining it's, it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> i read somewhere that you work out like two days two times tw twi twice, twice a, a day. day but like thank it, you for that it's it's um it's once a day now because like I'm, I'm really busy okay but yeah yeah, yeah okay. it also okay. gets boring it's working out like, i can imagine work, working man, out like is boring bro people think it's nice yeah it's <laughs> people say it's therapy it's therapeutic like in in some sense but like it gets boring but as much as it's annoying right yeah if you miss that day you feel like shit I'm like, that's the like, weird like, thing I'm like what am i doing let me let me go to the gym you feel terrible yeah, you feel terrible for not doing it for as well doing, so, you, yeah. so it's not a win it's, it's, it's not a win <laughs> it's really not a win um it gets worse when you like miss for like a week yeah and then your body doesn't look as good as it usually looks and you have to gain that again so like with the whole working out the diet all of that it's it's, it's a lot it's of consistency it's though. crazy yeah so yeah that's that's a challenge for me just working out and also like i used to seek validation from people yeah but now i'm like you know what i'm not gonna seek that you know i'm just gonna do what i came on this earth to do just, just put work out yeah i re i really like like that perspective i was talking to um sharon uh from tmk piri and mm -hmm. we were talking about um that like just how complex it is sometimes that when you do the thing that you're called to do um it's it's tougher than you anticipate <laughs> it's tough <laughs> but it fulfills you yeah 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 that's such a such an interesting dynamic such yeah, an it's, interesting it's, dynamic it's, it's there. crazy bro because it's easier and tough at the same time it's bittersweet yeah. It's yeah basically. it's easier because it comes more naturally to it comes you. more naturally right but you get to a point where you put your heart and soul into something right yeah you put it out and you don't really get the and you reaction. don't get the reaction because like my reaction i'm like yo this is the this is the one work. this like this is it yeah. and then everything just goes down like yeah. when you put it I, out <laughs> yeah people I, get depressed <laughs> over that no no i yeah. i definitely it's odd that um I fully understand what you're saying because yeah. you know we put like a lot of hours into making this stuff and you're there and something hits like 40 views over a week and you're like damn and I and thought like, this was wow. gonna be and, and it's always like, and and the odd thing is it's usually the ones that you like really love <laughs> exactly 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 <laughs> that don't uh, break the ceiling in the way you you expected exactly it's kind of like you have to lean into what the people want yeah for them to like react yeah but if you do your your thing completely um it's it's a different story but what i believe is yeah. um if you just put out like authentic stuff like if it's just you yeah and it doesn't get the reaction please don't get depressed because i feel like yeah yeah um i feel like <laughs> in time people will look back in retrospect and be like, okay, this shit was crazy. This was really good. That was mad. This guy was, yeah. this guy had the recipes. And it's interesting that you say that. I, an, an interesting thing that I've noticed from my end is you, you stop caring as much mm -hmm. uh, and you just keep focusing on the message, the, the message, the story you want to tell. You keep going. You keep going. You keep, and gradually, it, yeah. people start like paying attention, paying attention. to it for what it is and not necessarily what what they, they want, want it, to it to be yeah i feel like that's how it is bro and like it's, it's crazy how like from the beginning yeah. I, I never had the idea of like competition i remember my dad yeah. right um so i used to be an athlete like back yeah. in high school in school yeah so my dad used to be like you need to be like a horse have you seen horses when they race no, they have not like, I've seen, but yeah. not like paid attention to. So they have blinders so that you don't see what's going on on the side. Ah, the competition, yeah. you don't see. So from the beginning, I never had that sense of like competition of like looking at someone and being like, oh shit, I need to be better than this guy by be. this time. Nah, it, it's always <laughs> been about me. Like I'm in competition with myself. 
That's interesting. So, so even when you go for like, um, maybe like a casting where you know this is like an open casting, right? Like I'm not set to get this. Um, you don't like feel like, um, I don't want to say anxious, uh, but you don't like, you don't, you've never like got into a shoot and looked at someone and just felt a bit small. <laughs> oh shit, maybe physically, yeah. <laughs> I remember, um, you know Vero? Vero, no. It's a big guy. Man, he's big. I remember we had Vest on, right? Yeah. And, and Costa. I don't know if you know Costa. No, no, no. No, you have to put me on. You have to put uh, me on. You should have Costa. Costa active. Send me, send me, send me like the IGs and I'll check I'll, it out. I'll, I'll send you. Yeah. So Costa, he's a big guy. But like when I look at these guys at these shoots, I'm not like, wow. You know, like, um, I don't feel bad. Yeah. But I'm just like, whoa, I'm trying to get there. <laughs> Like, yeah, you got me there. <laughs> yeah. You got me there. Yeah, yeah. so people, like, costing them, like, physically, that's when I'm like, oh, shit. There's yeah. work to do. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm small. I'm small. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's just good vibes. It's good energy. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I, I like that, man. Because, yeah, sometimes we, we have this capacity to uh, beat ourselves up. Mm. And especially sometimes you also, like, I think context is important because maybe sometimes you're looking at someone who's been modeling for, like, eight years and this is your first year and it's like why do you feel insecure you've got like a lot of work to do got right? a lot like, of yeah i remember my mom right yeah, i used yeah. to like seek validation from her like every time after a shoot i'd be like yo how is this and she'd be like yeah this is good this is the one yeah and then i pull out maybe my idols um photographs and i'm like yeah can you compare this to and it's like yo he's been in the industry for like more than you bro like you still a baby in yeah, this. yeah so take your time you're gonna get there <laughs> Yeah, and, and, get there. Ooh, that's interesting because sometimes for you, like as early as you started, it could be a situation yeah. where that person has been working for maybe as long as you've been alive, right? And yeah. <laughs> you're just seeing like today, you're not you, seeing... You're not seeing what he went through. So like after doing like research and yeah. after being in the industry for so long, right? You know, I, I'm inspired by this guy called Dion. Yeah. Um, in the beginning, like for every project I did, I kind of like not mimic but like had a certain idea off of his narrative because yeah. like they align but then as i got more into this it's like natural now like i don't i don't really look you at you don't people. have to lean yeah on like on, yeah. i can just wake up bro like for my project that's coming up right yeah i actually had a dream i had a dream <laughs> on the 29th of october Ooh, that's, I, oh, I had that's a dream dope. i woke up at exactly quarter past six yeah i took my notebook I wrote everything I dreamt about, I closed it, and I slept. You're like, this is the one. Woke up later on. Um, that week, I told Lennox about that idea. We had to, like, shoot, but, like, yeah. Ooh, um, that's interesting. And, and it's been there I since, like, the 29th I can't of October. wait to see that. I can't wait to see that. It's going to be crazy, bro. It's going <laughs> to be mad. Really, really, like, enjoyed talking to you, man. Uh, one yeah. of the things you said... Um, and I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll reference this as, as as one of our closing points because it's it's a really powerful thing and it stuck with me, man. You said your vision is to be the most influential Muslim model. Muslim model. Yeah, I love that, and I I really wish you all the best on that path, man. Thank you, I, man. I, I hope wish you, you all the best too. Yeah, I hope yeah. you achieve everything that you that you have in your vision. 